The UK is known around the world for its respect for and tolerance of free speech. There is a limit, however, that the law does not guarantee the right to punish deferentiary statements that injures others' reputations. Freedom was first established in 1786. But the question is, does everyone have a right to it? Yeah, I'd say I'm free. I believe I do. In some cases, not in all. Uh, to, to an extent, yeah. It's not really a yes, no answer. Freedom was first established in 1786. People have fear of not having freedom. Too much freedom can sometimes be scary. George Washington once said, If a freedom of speech is taken away, then the dumb and silent we may be led, like sheep to the slaughter. In 1999, a shocking 2.1 billion or 36% of the world's population were unfree, while 1.5 billion or 25% of the world's population was partly free. We asked Lindsay Fry about how students have freedom at North Kent College. My name's Lindsay Fry, I'm the student engagement assistant here at North Kent College. What's the Student Union? Student Union is uh, a, basically it's run by students, led by students, um, student officers, and they campaign for student rights around the campus. They help work with the college to make the campus a better place um, based on student views. Um, we do a lot of equality diversity, we raise awareness of different events throughout the year, and we do a lot of fundraising as well. How can your students get involved? Um, like, you're always, always welcome to contact the Student Union, come down to the Strike Social Zone and get involved. We do different events every month that they can get involved with as well. Um, but always, if the elections happen twice a year, they can get involved in the elections and become an actual student officer in the Student Union as well. Do you believe students have freedom of speech at this college? Absolutely, yeah. Um, I've worked really big to make sure they do. Um, we have the Learner Voice here, which basically encourages our students to have a voice and speak out and be heard. Um, we encourage that purely because we believe that if we work in partnership with the students, we can help the college grow to become a better place. The fight for freedom is currently ongoing and will be for the foreseeable future. I'm Ben Hopkinson, reporting from North Kent College.